everybody. To Victoria 3. Last we left off, we just had the Treaty of 1909 against the British Republic. We took Canada and the British Raj. And I'm just going to kind of look at what they have over here for us. Wow, they have dyes, sugar, tobacco, coffee. A ton of stuff that we need in our economy. Just lush, lush, resourceful land. Um, awesome. So we're doing pretty good. They have opium as well. Wow, they literally have everything that we could want. Um, nice. Just going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're still having shortages on rubber, though. Wait, are we at war? Yes, we're at war. Of course we're at war. Uh, alright. Naval invasion. Here. Naval invasion. Here. I need to get Vietnam back. Our conscripts are still raised. Uh, we're also dealing with the potential of a revolution. We're really trying to push our government into the direction I want it to go. Though, I don't think that's going to happen. Because it already takes a long time for it to go through. Oh well. Life goes on, I suppose. I don't think we need to tax the crap out of our people anymore. Yep, we're all good there. And I can't boost our institutions quite yet, because we're still struggling with our... Oh. Wait. They're still my puppet. But they've changed their politics. Okay. I mean, that's so bad to be at all. Finally, we put our conscripts down, so we're getting even more money. And... Yeah. Here we are. Oh. <sighs> we are boosting the trade unions, but now we can put down the intelligentsia to press them from pushing back on this. <clears throat> now we just have some political maneuvering and we should be all right. And I am fixing our port situation because I was a little upset that uh, we almost lost that war to the Brits mostly because I am a ding dong and I didn't have enough convoys and now we kind of just actually freaking relax for once Dang, these areas have just been devastated. Alright, I hope the Brits hurt now. Their, my GDP is better than theirs. Nice. Increase by 9.8. That'll get it pretty close to where I don't want it to be. Ah, heck, universal suffrage, man. Come on. Who is supporting universal suffrage right now? Just you. And I can't even grant you leadership. Hopefully we'll go... If this goes into voting, I will literally risk, I think, a revolution to do this. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm probably lying. Um... 
Uh, uh, okay. Yeesh. That was close. That was close. We, we could have went straight Civil War right there. And I'm pretty sure our puppets would not help us. Canada's rebellious? But why? Be my friend. Oh, it's because I just got Canada. You like us? You like us? I mean, we we were the cause of Japan's probably economic depression because <laughs> they were constantly getting invaded. Oh, and the Brits are paying war reparations. Okay. So we got 1k on the Brits. Well, seems like we're going to have to give up on this law. Unfortunately, it did not go through. Uh, Council Republic, though? Shoot. Heck, try it. Give it our best shot. Uh, of course. Who is this? Netherlands? Oh no, it's over there. What do you got, Russia? Oh, China's gonna hop in here? Sure. Um, India? Like... Oh, just this tiny little part of India. Okay. Mm. Liberate your subjects. No. Wait. Hold on. Josen is a tributary of that. And I can't take that? Are you kidding me? Liberate subject, Josen. Sure. Oh my gosh. Imagine opening the market of China. Has it already had that happen to it? I guess not. I won't do that, though. Though I'm sure I could steamroll them pretty easily. Because Russia is not very literate, neither is China, so I'm sure they're very far behind in terms of, well, a lot of things. Okay, Barnabas over here. Francis, you go over here. And I do believe now Russia is trying to take care of them over here. That. And I'll put this right here since this is my territory. I still don't know if it happens, but I think that if you attack through your puppet's territory, you only get like marginal gains, like not super big gains, like if you're using your own territory. So I'm going to use American Tonkin to push my main line. Oh, they really want to preserve the presidential republic. I'm suppressing the intelligence here, right? I am. Well, we'll see how this goes. China. Transfer subjects. Liberate country. Revoke claim. Uh, I'll, I'll probably open their market if they don't have anything significant. By the time this war starts off. <clears throat> Honestly, what am I doing? I could just invade Beijing. It's not like they have a navy. Yeah, no, I'm I'm seriously doing the most right now. Actually, Russia has quite the navy. Huh. Well, I'm actually going to expand our navy. So give me Uno second. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. We just basically added another hundred. 
I don't know if these are like a hundred ships themselves or like a hundred flotillas or whatever. Not that I know how big a flotilla is, but uh, we added a few more to that. Okay, we have central planning. So that means we can also do this. And really cut, eh, well, hold on. I wouldn't come back quite yet. Let's get all the institutions we can get right now. Um, telephones are now an issue. I think power is still an issue too. Um, telephone, ring, 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 hello. Oh, there are these naval bases. Then we'll do the ports for our massive military that definitely needs them. Um, I'll put you on the defensive. I'll put you on the attack. We'll just keep attacking, though we will have a naval invasion ready to go. And it will consist of you. And it will be at this guy as well. No idea what any of that means. I forgot to cl click the open economy thing. That's okay. Life goes on. Okay, good for me. Alright, we're at war with the usual suspects. We are going to go for an immediate naval invasion of Beijing area. Uh, with John Pershing leading the way. Council Republic should go through pretty quick, though. I'm hoping, anyway. This will also give plus 25% political power to the trade unions. And once we turn into a one-party state, I do believe most of the other political groups will be effectively taken care of. Wow, we're actually not able to push China. There goes their capital. So, yeah, I'd imagine they're gonna turn around and not use the other fronts, hopefully. I don't know, I doubt it though. But China has already had their capital taken. They're gonna start ticking down for that and we're gonna push them out of the war pretty quick. Love me. I'm your god emperor. A suffragist has been killed. Which one's more powerful? Oh. oh. Somehow we're winning against Russia, but not China. Okay, yep, we're not winning against China. I'm gonna hold on to their capital, though. Hmm. We're getting so close to passing it. Literally almost every party is unifying against the trade unions. This is really getting annoying. Everybody wants Council Republic. Grant Command. Oh, wow, I can make them 
become leaders and stuff. Well, heck. I might do that. How weak are the trade units? They're not honestly that weak at all. I'm going to grant command. I'm going to see what this does. I'm going to grant command. And he is just a brigadier general. On the Great Plains HQ. That's kind of annoying. I can't choose where he is stationed. Advanced fronts. Oh. I guess the best I can do is promote him. At least we have enough convoys now. A lot of them are going to port connections and supply routes. Ooh, telephones are hurting us. Oh my gosh. Please, electrics. Fix me. Furniture, clothes, ironclads are doing pretty bad. Shit, let's get back at it. Electricity's alright. Could be a lot better. Which I will fix right now. Oh, we're pushing now. Oh, thank goodness. It'll go up by 20. If this council republic... I... Uh, I... I'm gonna have to stop. Doesn't look like there's any way for me to... Wow, really? Russia invaded me? Are you kidding me? That is the most annoying thing. Because they really want to preserve the presidency. if I can fight a revolutionary America like this. Oh, that bothers me. That's so close. Mm, that's so close. And I'm in the middle of a pretty big war and they're trying to cut me down to size. This could not have come at a worse time. Dang it. I have to give up on it. There's there's no way. So close. And here goes Russia just running rampant through my country again. And 
who is this? Where's your home? This is Adna Chaffee. You are from Dixie. So I will just go ahead and raise conflict with Dixie. Give me a little bit of a boost. Yeah, sure, I guess get locked into a battle. Oh crap, they're actually pushing into Kansas. Um Sorry, uh, Vietnam. I can't let them cut me down to size. the rest of the conscripts going because they haven't done enough already damned if Russia is the one who cuts me down to size. More electrics, please. take a lot of land too whenever they finish killing me like this and the battle's probably going to take a while they might actually cut me down to size and I'll lose Canada probably Japan and Vietnam as well oh white piece no I am not getting cut down to size I will fight the best I can for this They navally invade me again. Dixie. Dixie. Wait, why are you still here? Why are you? Pacific Coast. No, we have two people on Dixie, so we'll... We'll have ask what kind of here. And we'll have Pacific Coast come back here and guard... The Oh, come on. Once he's done with that, of course. Come on, push him back, push him back. Get a raid coming, boys. Same with New England. I want that taken care of. Red Menace. Heck yeah, the working men's party. Oh, it is not looking good. I just hate how long these battles take sometimes. Because they are literally probably going to push me all the way there. Come on, take back all of Kansas in this next hit. Alright, even better farming. And that does not apply to anything else.
Holy crap. <sighs> Come on. Right, that's your that's your objective. That's to push them out. Ah, crap, we might lose. They still got chunks of Kansas. Yeah, it'll this will probably be over. Unfortunately. Maybe? No, I'm not getting cut down just to liberate that stupid country. I just want this war to be over quick. It, it seems like once they get low, it waits for me to get low. Like, there's a certain percentage that they're going to be able to kill me. Oh, wow. China just capitulated. Get over here. Push the Russians out. Okay, so Vietnam's safe. Pacific Coast is being patrolled. Uh, Dixie's being patrolled. Seems good right now. Come on. Get out of my capital. Go, go, go. Okay, that was close. And I think that'll forever stay there like that, unfortunately. All right, well, at least we're not ticking anymore. Okay, we get that. Our next war goal will be this. I want them as far away from my capital as possible. They can get there pretty quick. That's why I like to double up on my navy at least. Uh, if I get you all in here, will you all help with the Council Republic? Single party state. Wait six days before another attempt. Nice. It kind of seems like we will have overwhelming support for this. Well, not overwhelming, but more support for this. The only people who are against it are the rural folk, of course. Well, let's give it another one. I'm hoping we can change our government in this episode. Take care of that then. Take back Texas. And then when that's taken care of, I'll let them do whatever the heck they want. Pacific, New England, patrolling the Northern coasts. You're patrolling Dixie coasts. Yeah, we'll just have one guy raiding the convoys right now. Yep, there goes that. Who is supporting suffrage right now? Preserve universal suffrage. I'm just going to retire this commander. Because I'm kind of tired of having them around. Honestly. I would like to grant them leadership, but... They don't really have a whole lot that I'm interested in. I hold the greatest power. I am number one in the world, apparently. Yep, 
and universal suffrage support is low, so they probably won't go all the way with it. Alright, nice. We got Texas back. Now we're just kicking the Russians out. And they seem to have most of their military here. So I'm going to take this from Dixie, and I'm going to do a naval invasion of St. Petersburg. Or Ingria, which is their capital. And let's take... Who has the most? Adna? Sure. I didn't see how many boats they had there. I am seriously unconcerned. <laughs> okay, our allies are helping us take this little chunk behind us. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Take care of. How's the Navy doing? Two weeks. But we're using automobiles for some reason. Electricity is still a big issue. So are a lot of other things. Alright. Just make them overwhelmingly weaker certainly what I want. Alright, well, we're taking their capital state, which is outstanding. I dare say we can give them some support. Who is this? Adna Chaffee? Who's got the most? Barnabas? Syndrome. mark this state as a target, right? Yep. Alright, well, Russia will capitulate here in a bit, and Russia will pay war reparations for attacking me. And we've pretty much battled every major power so far. Yeesh. <laughs> Membership list is covered. Oh, yeah, let's take care of that. Well, the Russians are just giving up territory now. Because they're losing so much supply. Alright, there we go. Peace and freedom. Love that. People are still relatively upset with me. Granted, I did just take a lot of... territory from Great Britain. So, everyone's not too pleased with me. Available decisions. The Antarctic Expedition. Uh, not right now. We're a little low on monies. And our institutions are about to get all the way up there. Looking good. Still sad I'm not the number one GDP in the world right now. What is... Okay. Come on, single party state. Let's go. Get it together. I'm also going to do something really dumb and probably just increase our construction. Because I'm a little tired of us not being able to produce a lot quickly. Once that's done, I'll push some more stuff to the top. Wait, what? Who's attacking us? Oh, another Vietnam problem. It's 
side. Okay. Um, who has the least amount of troops? Sure. No, it's alright. That's a, that's a boat. Help them out. The Rebels Doctor. Oh, excuse me one second. Sorry about that. We are back. Oh, let's speed it up. Come on. For some reason, we have insufficient construction. Some success chance. Don't want to switch sides, don't do that again. And I really want to pop it Mexico. That'd be something I, I really want to do. Oh, yeah. Can I not declare like a ton of interests? Uh, I have like a humongous navy. interest in everything. <laughs> I am the interest, Mr. Worldwide. Forgot about that. Wait, do I have the... Yes, I do. I just need arc welding next. I can take a bureaucracy hit. I'm doing pretty well with it. Literacy's getting up there. Can't do motorized reconnaissance quite yet. I need to puppet somebody with uh, a lot of rubber involved in their country. And I do believe that is the Dutch East Indies. Uh, somewhere, perhaps? Hmm. No, I could have sworn the Dutch East Indies had a bunch of rubber. Oh, I'm a ding dong. I need to look up one. Okay, the Dutch East does have rubber, though not a whole ton of it. I have some. Not a lot, though. Mm. Alright, thanks for all the interest. Yep. I'll try to get Dutchy Sendies. Actually, Australia. Are you... What, what are you? You're a Dominion of the British Republic. Do you, perchance, have rubber on you? Um does not appear that way. Have some oil. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you have a bunch of that stuff. Eh, it's okay. Survey the Suez. The Suez not already taken over? Okay. Let's uh, be friendly with Egypt. I'll make the Suez. Someone's got to. It's gotta be America, I guess. Who is this guy? Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, 
Electric Street, Texas. Alright, took care of that. Production going on though. Let's go ahead and fix that. We are number one in the world. We should have a lot of construction sectors to prove it. I'm really tired of us producing a lot of things very slowly. It's time for our economy to explode. Oh great, now the industrialists are in cahoots with them. Can't suppress them, those buggers. Mm. Mm. Thankfully, I think we can kind of teeter on the edge if it ever gets to... Uh, Close to rebellion because we're at should stop at 81, so it's always going to bump up to like maybe around like 90 ish. Wow, are we actually low on the administrative institutions? I did not think that was going to happen like for a while. We still got some queued up. Pass it. Pass the law. Well, we're going to be hurting a little bit, but we'll be building quite a lot of stuff. Need to focus on our, our shortages. Ironclads are actually not doing too great. We're getting shipyards. That's all that matters. Automobiles. We still need more power. Still need a ton more radios. Suffer just more. Steel's getting up there again about being expensive. Well, I hate to do it to you, especially since I don't think this law is going to pass anytime soon. And we've been progressively having quite some long episodes, mostly because of that forever war. I will go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for joining. I hope you're enjoying. And in the next one, hopefully we can get this economy sorted out a little bit better. Because I know we're sporting a massive military, but I want to keep it that way. So we're just going to have to meet, match our GDP with the, uh, the cost of literally everything. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.